All right, we're at the location. Uh, this is the southwest corner. Uh, at this corner here, we have multiple drains. We have a uh, fire department connection for the fire suppression system. Uh, and we also have an outside uh, hose hydrant out here that is uh, publicly accessible with a key. No uh, lockbox on anything here. Uh, up the ramp, we have the electric meter room behind this door, which has a, I guess, a uh, entry prohibitor. And then we have the sprinkler room for men's warehouse, PetSmart, and the liquor warehouse. Um, looking up pretty secure here with the exception of being able to easily enter without any key, unlike the meter room. Now, one of the first things I'm noticing is that we have a lot of water on the floor here. Let's turn this light switch on carefully. We have some illumination. Uh, looks like about 18 foot ceiling here. We have some water on the floor. We have an incoming water service here to this meter and that uh, cross connection device. That's a reduced pressure zone, has that discharge line there. Um, over here, we have another water service coming in. This is also a water service for the fire suppression system, um, but we're focusing right now on domestic potable water. We have a point of entry here feeding this meter, which contains a reduced pressure zone. And then we have another meter here which is for this three quarter inch watts 007 double check valve with an active leak on the body of the valve this water meter and this backflow prevention device services our client the wine and liquor warehouse at green acres now off of their supply line Domestic water supply line, we have a T here. This T goes in two directions. It goes down here and it, oh, guess what? It goes to that accessible hose hydrant on the rear southwest corner that we showed earlier. Um, we also have a burst right there on that water line. And then we have the other direction, the T goes into the confined space of the building. Uh, one thing I really want to point out that with the exception of this uh, electric heater, let's zoom in on that. There you go. With the, with this, is that, with the exception of the single phase 3.3 kilowatt electric heater, uh, this is unconditioned space. Um, whose responsibility is to maintain this? I do not know. We also have a plug-in heater here. Wow. Um, this plug-in heater has my king is just sitting here on the floor in the corner, plugged into this electrical outlet. Um, again, I am not a, I'm not going to speak outside of my area of profession, which is a licensed plumber and licensed HVAC contractor, but that I'm sure is a hazardous condition, leaving an electric plug-in space heater unattended in a space like this. Um, it is my professional assessment that these unconditioned space froze and resulted in subsequent damage to that three quarter inch copper line and also our client's uh, cross connection device, specifically the Watts 007 M3 QT double check valve which we have been testing on an annual basis for code compliance. Let me ask you a question. How did I do? We got a new, I didn't have a three quarter inch double check valve in our shop warehouse supply. So I did have a one inch Watts. I put in a one inch by three quarter brass reducing bushing on my inlet side. I had a press 
three quarter inch by one inch press by male adapter on my applet side and I removed that connection going to the hose faucet that the tenant that's line this is didn't know where it came from and doesn't know who uses it, but they don't use it and they don't wanna pay for the water anymore. So we cut that out, insulated everything with three quarter inch armor flex and fully documented what we observed, what we saw, what we did. And that's how Pipe Doctor Home Services, regardless if it's residential, commercial or industrial, we got you covered for any plumbing, heating or cooling needs in the Long Island, New York City metropolitan area. Pick up the phone, give me a call, 516-348-6300, or save time, book online at pipedoc.net. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next one.